this is the video where I'm going to get a bunch of thumbs down. Down here in Del Rio, Texas, putting on my boots. It is Thursday, January 9th, 2014. Last night I had a burger. If you're ever down here in South Texas, Southwest Texas, or whatever, there is a burger in Brady, Texas, at the Stripes. Believe it or not, it's a convenience store. It's a Stripes. But you get you a double meat. Double cheese for three ninety nine. This thing was so thick. The second time I've had it, so thick it was man and greasy. Oh my gosh! I'll tell you, it it went down fine. It was a good burger. So if you're ever going down one ninety three seventy seven Texas back roads, you know where all the deers are at. Stop in Brady, Texas and get you a burger. Especially in the evening time, there's this big old burly dude sitting there. You know it's going to be a good burger if there's a big old burly dude in there making a burger. I've been in there twice. This year and about a year and some change ago. The first time I was in there, I thought, I've got to come back. I thought maybe, okay, second time, it's been over a year. Maybe the guy's not there anymore, and maybe they do things differently. Eh, man, it's the same thing. Oh, my gosh. And you know what? It's cheaper than a lot of uh, fast food burgers, too, at three ninety nine for the burger. So, yeah, Brady, Texas. Anyways, I'm going to get my boots on, and I'm going to go to work. Got to the bathroom here, a little rest area here off Highway 90, and uh, washing my hands. Look at myself. I had my shirt inside out. I see the tag right there, you know, on my undershirt. I was like, oh, already done for my first drop. Anyways, uh, you know, trucking ain't for sissies, and. It's hard to keep my mouth shut with some of these YouTubers that think they can, you know, can be a truck driver and they can't hack it. Trucking ain't for sissies. That ain't for sissies. You know what I'm talking about. Is trucking for you? Or are you going to sit there and whine about everything and how, oh, the company didn't change its ways for me. Okay, maybe a trainer you didn't get along with. I didn't get along with my first trainer and I was with him for a month. A month. You know what? I'm still out here. That sacrifice. Listen, you were getting in your trainer's truck, not vice versa. And if you gonna whine about it, go to your company. Things ain't working out. Instead of quit. Listen, there's gonna be days when you're not gonna be able to take a shower. A lot of days. Where you have to clean yourself in your truck, inside your sleeper using baby wipes yeah get used to that having clean clothes you may not have them you may not get a chance to wash them you may be so busy now a lot of times this means you you're getting paid you know when you always hear that run hard get paid 
It's not about getting out here and running or driving fast. It's actually doing all the little small things that all add up. Like even a little is putting off a shower or two, having to bathe in your truck. Sissies. Sissies. Uh, and it's not the fact that sissies are out here because most of the time I don't see them because they don't last very long. But it's when they get up on YouTube and start talking about how much of an expert they are at everything that they do. And then they get out here very first you know, trip, very first trip, and they can't hack it. And then they get back up on YouTube and talk about, man, everything sucks. Everything sucks and just so negative. Maybe you need to look in the mirror. Yeah, it's going to be disgusting out here. You're going to be disgusting. Whether we see it or not. That's why I have bonehead truckers. The world ain't supposed to see how disgusting we are. No, we're supposed to hide that. But we know. You know, we know how disgusting it can be. And if you're going to sit there and whine about it, whine about it, and whine about it. It ain't for you. It ain't for you. Being successful out here takes a lot of hard work. Not by putting the foot to the floor. It takes a lot of smart work, a lot of hard work, and a lot of sacrifice. And if you can't do that stuff, now it's easy to say it in a video. It's easy to say it in a video. It's easy to sit there in your bathroom and sit there and say how tough you are, how you're ready you are, and then when you get out here, you fail miserably. And you want to blame it on someone else. If you want to blame it on someone else, if it's you're so great, why don't you go to another company or another trainer and figure out what you're freaking, you know, you know, get your get your stuff done. But always an excuse. You know, we don't have time for that out here. And, yeah, you can whine about this video all you want. But, trucking ain't for sissies. It ain't. Go work for the city. I'm sure they deal with sissies pretty well there. You know another thing I see, and I've seen this, is that people sit there and whine and complain about their trainer. I see it. When you're on Facebook and you see a lot of rookies, a lot of rookies want to, you know, they see your videos and they want to you know, like you on Facebook and stuff, you see what they talk about. When they go through training, they complain about their trainer. They complain. I mean, why, why, why? He's a redneck. He's harsh. He's loud. He smokes. He's this, that, and other. And it's constant whining. And then when they get out on the road by themselves, all by themselves, no teammate, no nothing, all by themselves, all of a sudden, they're asking people on Facebook simple questions they should have learned during training. Like, how to distribute your weight on your trailer in the scale you see pictures of scale tickets that are like 75,000 pounds and freaking you got 5,000 pounds to move around I mean come on this isn't easy I think some of y'all are just hard to work with yeah yeah y'all think that you are from the generation that you know you win a trophy for finishing last place and that's what you expect. You know what last place in trucking gets you? Sit to the house. Speaking of 
some showers. I actually just got out of the shower. And I feel great. I feel great. I'll probably get a hate video out of this. Yeah, I'm, I guarantee you I'll get a hate video with the middle finger. It's funny how positive people, and I can't do air quotes because I'm holding the camera and I'm holding my bag. Air quotes. Positive people can tear so many people down in the videos. Mr. Positive. I'm sure I'll get the middle finger. <laughs> well, there's not much left to say. So I'm going to leave y'all. Y'all have a good one. Remember, my name is Ike Stevens! 73.